We're going to just continue on from the previous challenge and we're going to add a domain and a range to the linear scale. So you know from the previous video that the domain specifies the range of values that the input domain can take. So that'll be 0 up to 50 in this case. So to give a domain we can call it directly on a selection. So we have a scale selection right here, so we can just call it directly on this after we remove the semicolon. And with the domain, remember we pass in an array and we give as the first element the minimum. And in this case, it wants it to be 250. And the second element to be the max, which is 500. And now we need to set the range and the range is the max, like the minimum and maximum value that the output will have. And generally you'd use the width of your area or the height, depending on whether you're doing vertical or horizontal. But here they've told you a range to give as well. So we just call the range method again, because we can chain it like it says here. And this time it wants you to pass in 10, 150. And that's pretty much it, so I'm just going to submit that now. Perfect.